Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Esri straight files um, directly with Google's engine without having to upload to your uh, OS engine account. If you have used the OS engine JavaScript before, you know probably already know that if you want to use some of your files on your local computer, for example, uh, the Esri uh, straight files, um, you will need to upload this one to your Earth Engine account and um, so that you can use that. Sometimes it might take a while, it depends on how big um, is the file. So, and for today, I'm going to introduce you a new way that you can directly use uh, the files with Earth Engine without having to upload the data. So first of all, you need to install the package, uh, the GEE map. If you have not installed it before, you can follow my other tutorials um, on how to install this one, then you can come back. If you already installed the package before, you will need to update your package to the latest one, okay? So you can use the pip install hyphen u, GE map, or you can, if you use conda, you can use conda update, and then use this command to update to the latest one, okay? Since I already updated, and uh, I'm just going to directly open Jupyter Notebook. And for today, we're going to use this example. Um, so if you go to my GitHub repo, I provide the Jupyter Notebook. So if you go to the examples, notebooks, and there should be one uh, straight files. And if you click this one, so you can download this one or you can clone the Git repo. And um, after that, you should be able to see this. So uh, this get started, examples, notebooks, and then uh, straight file. So from here, you see the codes are pretty simple and straightforward. And we are going to use the data set here, examples, um, data. So I have three uh, uh, Esri straight files in here uh, for country, for the US states and US cities. So we have two polygons, uh, one point. First of all, you need to uh, import the package, okay? And create, create an interactive map let me maximize my window here. Okay, so should be able to see better. And all you need to do is just to provide the file path for your uh, straight files. All you need to do here is just provide the file path. Here is the relative path. You can also provide uh, absolute path. For example, depending on your computer operating system, it can be C, whatever, C drive, D drive. And then all you need to do is just to call this function called GEE map um shp to ee okay so basically convert a straight file to us any object and then all you need to provide the file path then this one becomes an us engine object and then you can add to the map so this is the us engine object this is how you want to customize the symbology this is the name of the layer that you want you, you will show up on the layer control so simple and straightforward the file is here like just like I show you here, there is the first one here under the uh, example folder. Then you just execute. Okay, so no module name uh, set file. That means you need to um, install uh, because this one is the uh, the new like dependency that we just added. So if you if you want, you can go back to here. If you see this error message, uh, don't panic. So let's open the other one and then conda activate the e, 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 the one we uh, we used and then you can use conda um, install hyphen c or you can use pip either one is fine so pip install and then there's a package called pyhhp then one you should be able to install so it's a very small package then you can come back to here and let's clear the output and restart then we should be good to go so execute and then execute you see right um so now we have the file directly loaded to google as engine so in this way you don't have to go to your javascript to upload the data um sometimes if you want just want to taste the file um quickly this is the the best way that you can utilize so and if you see the layer here right you can turn on and off Similarly, you can add the other one. So the US states boundary, let me click, 
now you see here two layers that we have added to the map. And this is right now in the Google Earth Engine Cloud. It's not a local uh, straight file. But basically, I'm converting this file to a GeoJSON. And then from GeoJSON, use that to construct the Earth Engine object. If you are interested in looking at the source code, you can go to my repo and uh, GE map and then the GE map.py. If you scroll down to the end, so you will be able to see how I implement this. So you'll be somewhere here, EE to, okay, this one here, EE to a uh, uh, straight file. And actually, it's called the other function. So in here, um, it's this one above in here. So this is the one that uh, Im implemented. Okay, so uh, after that, you will see here, you can use the uh, inspector, for example, if you want to click, um, check like the attributes you can so you can click on the map anywhere and you should be able to show whatever your mouse uh, click location show you the attribute for this you can turn on and off uh, depending on what you like so next one i can also add a point layer so if you execute so this is like uh u.s cities and this one is almost uh 3300 points so it's a huge uh, data layer uh, if, if you want to turn off other layers, you can take a look in here. So we have uh, added three data layers to the map. And similarly, you can also um, convert the Sorry. convert the uh, layer back into, for example, think about AR, the uh, Google Earth Engine has a lot of uh, feature collection. So after you convert a swap file into uh, Earth Engine, it becomes a feature collection. So Earth Engine also has a lot of uh, uh, feature collections. You can actually export the swap file to your computer if needed. So because right now this file has become Earth Engine object. So all we need to do is call the other function, for example, Earth Engine and the, the countries. So the country is this like Earth Engine object. And all we need to do is just to, uh, save the output file name. Where do you want to um, save the file to a swap file? So basically this is the shortcut for you to download data from Earth Engine from a uh, uh, feature collection to your local computer as a swap file or CSV or JSON or KML or KMG. So they, these are ways you can download. So if you look at this one in here, countries, right? Right now we only have um, a, a swap file and also GeoJSON. So in here, we can execute this one. It's going to, this is the name you're going to choose to uh, save the file. So you will be, if you execute, and it's going to generate an URL. And traditionally, you have to click this one to download. So I've automated the process. All we need to do is just provide the file name and everything will be automated. So if you come back to here, right now we have the country's new, like um, this file. You can also download as a CSV. So CSV then in this way, you only download the attribute table. So for example, this one download um, the United States, the CSV. So if you come back to here, this is the one we just downloaded. So this is not a, a straight file, but it's just the attribute table. So you can open using Excel or using uh, other uh, file editor to look at the, uh, the attribute uh, inside, okay? And so next, you can also convert to JSON, okay? So we can uh, basically GeoJSON uh, file. If you come back to here, right now we have the state, like uh, JSON file. And you can also convert to KML and KMG. So I'm going to execute and execute. All right. So if you come back to see the file here, right now we have KML and KMG. Okay. So uh, this tutorial, just to recap what we talked about, you know, so just shows you how to directly use uh, swap files with Earth Engine. And once it becomes Earth Engine object, you can also download that to your local computer. So you don't have to use this file. You can download any free collection. Right now, uh, you can find only Earth Engine data catalog, okay? And so that's all for this tutorial. Um, if you enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.